I am back, back like snack man at the grocery store, man. Bring you another one, these trillion ones. You already know what it is, man. Hey, so we back on the Luiso Mandinga. You say the scared of my father, man. You scared of your father? Scared of your pappy? Let's go. I used to be scared of my pappy too when I was a kid, man. Scary. It was cool, but boy, get mad, boy. Scared. All this happened in this four, five hour period watching TV, right? Which was the good times because when that generator went off and the sun came up, it was time to work. And there was always work to be done at home, right? And my father made sure we did work every day. His rule was, right? Every day he must see work in the house. We had chickens, we had sheep. We had mini fields, we had potato fields. There was work, right? And we did it. We were scared of my dad, so we did work every day, right? Sometimes you just do extra work. But even if you did every job plus one, every job plus one, just some freelance homework. As soon as we saw the car coming from work, you would just pick up a broom and start sweeping the bathtub, do something, look busy, okay? Every day there had to be work done, except this one day I remember where we did nothing. Me and my brothers did nothing. The yard was a mess, right? My father's driving in, the chickens haven't been fed. This is bad by rural standards. Have you seen hungry chickens? As my dad was driving in, the chickens were just following the car. <laughs> Those little feathered snitches. So at this point, my dad is pissed. He's filming. He walks into the house, we're just sitting there, and he says, and this is a quote from my dad, right? He says, Magwetin! Kanti ni tlela, abi min yon, ki ni sin nunga masand! Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. What that means, white people, is you damn boys are sitting here all day, suffering under the weight of your own testicles. My brother's scared. I wasn't. I was impressed. I was like, that is poetic. That is exactly what we were doing. I wouldn't have strung the sentence up like that, but that is... I'll take today as a learning day. That's what this is. <laughs> and we got the hiding of our lives that day. We're all from the hiding generation, right? We all got hidings growing up, right? What I've realized about getting a hiding as a kid is when you get one, the first three smacks, those are for you. <laughs> you have earned those. Right. After that, look, things happened that day. They, exactly. That had nothing to do with you. Exactly. Whooping you out of their own anger for something that ain't related to you. you. So my dad was there that day just, I mean, you not He's sitting on my sand. And your mom keeps cooking pop and spinach. Pop and spinach. Diggy when the seven are hung. The seven are pop and spinach. And why do knickknacks come in chutney? It's confusing. You can't take the pocket back once it's open. It's not even about you after a while. All I'm saying is rural parents don't have therapy. They have children. Scared of these hidings. Scared of my dad. He was a scary guy because we couldn't reason with my dad. Hidings were a real thing. We couldn't reason with him. And when you mess up, everybody messed up. Everybody's going down. My, you could break something. My dad comes home like, hey, my dad, who broke that? No, dad, Deliza broke it. <laughs> my dad would be like, oh, what were you doing when he was breaking my things? <laughs> You are watching him break my, break my fingers. 
<laughs> Standing there. Everyone's going down, right? Everyone's going down. And there was no reasoning with him. There was no reasoning with my dad. He's stubborn. You can't tell my dad anything. Even if it's to save his life, you can't tell him anything, right? You can't be like, Dad, no, don't go in there. They're going to kill you. He'll be like, hey, what did? Have you ever seen me being killed? (laughs) (laughs) Scared of my dad. But looking back, I realized my dad is one of the quirkiest guys in the world. He has the best quirks, right? One of my favorite quirks of my dad is how he answers the phone, right? And he's answered the phone the same way for as long as we've had phones. The phone will ring, and then he does that thing people over the age of 50 do, where they have to double check that it's a real phone call. Hello. Hello. <laughs> My dad says hello. What accent is hello? <laughs> hello. There are 2,000 languages in Africa. None of them give you an accent where you mix up E's and O's. There's no in Africa where people are like, we love potatoes and tomatoes. <laughs> Hele! And the signal at home is awful, so he's doing it in seven different tones. Hele! 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 And I'm sure the person's still there on the other end going, who did I call? What country is this? <laughs> Hello. I can just imagine him as a sarcastic 13-year-old and my grandfather's like, Hey, Gwitin, how many cows are in the yard? Uh, 13. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's funny? LA. And if you're in the States, it's Medea. Hello. 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 That's funny. That's funny. This guy is so funny, bro. No, he's t- tomatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> I like him, man. He's too funny, bro. He is too funny. Hey man, so that was it for this one, man. Leo Samandinga, man. We got more of him. We're gonna do. Um, woo. That was funny, bro. Hey man, like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one, man. Sign up for or.com forward slash C1 Snap. I need to see y'all over there, man, on the or side, man. Keep your stuff protected. All right, man. I'll see y'all next one. Man. Bye.